Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel, The Knowledge Tower. And uh, my name is uh, Professor Abdul Bayou, and I'm a professor of English abroad. So you might have seen my previous videos, uh, which I have uploaded about the board examination and the problem of the students for promotion uh, to next classes. And you might have benefited from that. And uh, if you have not watched, I will provide the link in the description so you can uh, subscribe it. You can press the bell icon, share it and also like it so that you, you could be notified with the latest uploaded videos uh, about various topics. So today we are going to start with a new topic that is writing an effective paragraph. So what are the strategies? What are the methods? How to write a, an effective paragraph? So we are going to talk about that. Okay, dear viewers, uh, first of all, you need to understand the very simple definition of what is a paragraph. So paragraph is a group of sentences about one main idea. So it means that there are no more than one ideas. So there's only one main idea around which the whole paragraph or the supporting sentences will revolve, right? So, so one thing you need to keep in mind, what is a paragraph? Paragraph is a group of sentences about one idea. All right, now let's talk about the organizational structure of paragraph. When we are writing an effective paragraph, we need to understand these bullet points, which are important. The organizational structure contains the, these kind of bullet points. Uh, TS, TS stands for topic sentence. SS stands for supporting sentences. And then we have details, uh, like examples or some other details. And CS stands for concluding sentence. And then some of other things which are important in structural uh, or organizational design of the paragraph are these things. Uh, we have indent or indentation. We also have capitalization where we have to use capital letters or where we don't have to use. And then we have a period uh, that is full stop, also popularly known as full stop in grammatical terms. And one more thing which you need to remember when you're writing a, an effective paragraph, you don't have to use point form in your paragraph or the bullet points. It should be a whole sum picture of the sentences interconnected along with all these topic sentences, supporting sentences, details and the concluding sentences, right? So now I will explain to you one by one, uh, what are these things? Okay, the first of all, we were talking about TS. So TS means topic sentence. So the topic sentence, as I said, topic sentence of the paragraph is the main idea, is the main idea. This is the main idea. We can also say the soul in the body, just like human being has a soul in the body. So body without soul is meaningless. Similarly, the without topic sentence, the paragraph will be useless it will not be talking about the main idea so main idea is very important so topic sentence is the beginning sentence usually so we start with the main idea so as i said uh, after the main idea because this is the introduction of the paragraph what is our topic what we're we going to write about next one is supporting details supporting sentence so supporting sentences may be five supporting sentences, 10 supporting sentences or whatever number varies from uh, the nature of the paragraph. If the paragraph demands that we have to write about uh, 150 words, so the supporting sentences uh, will depend on that uh, demand. So if we need a very short uh, paragraph, then we need to reduce the supporting sentences accordingly, right? So then we have to give some details regarding the main idea, the topic sentence that we introduce, uh, maybe examples, maybe some other uh, supporting details. And then the last sentence of the paragraph is the concluding sentence, right? So concluding sentence is a reminding sentence about the main idea. So we say it, we rephrase the topic sentence in different words in the concluding sentence. So it is basically, as I said, Reminding once again, sticking to the main idea of the topic sentence, but saying or rephrasing in a different way. So in these structurally important points, we don't have to do anything uh, which is away from that, right? So otherwise the paragraph will not be a complete thought. Now, 
I will explain one by one uh, with examples what is the main idea, how to write the main idea. Uh, before that, you need to understand some of these points also. What is indentation? Indentation means the space in the beginning of the sentence in a paragraph. For example, when you start your paragraph, you write your topic sentence, that is the main idea. Then you leave space. For example, this is your page and you are writing your paragraph, the title is here. And you're writing your topic sentence, that is the main idea, from here. So you leave two, two fingers space. Keep the two fingers like this and this space. This space is called indent. So this is called indent. We call it indentation also. So this space should be there. After that, you start your sentence. And after that, those sentences should be like that. But the first sentence, the space of two lines, like this, two fingers, space should be there this is intent now hope so you understand what is intent so if there is no intent it doesn't look a nice and effective paragraph so the order should be like that okay now um, as i said the topic sentence if i write in front of you two sentences let us try to understand how we identify what is a topic sentence if i write a and b two sentences here for example i say uh, I take any topic, for example, I say um, uh, punctuality, all right? So if I say the title is punctuality, punctuality, so if I write uh, two sentences here and we have to identify what is the main idea or what is the topic sentence. So for example, I say uh, punctuality is a uh, great and effective way to progress. Now you see punctuality is a great and effective way to progress. Now this sentence and if I write another sentence, if I say, um, uh, for example, we give us any supporting detail, uh, my colleagues reach at 7 a.m. in the office daily. Now you see these two sentences which I have written in front of you. What do you think is the main idea? Now try to think by yourself also. And yes, yes, you are right. So this A is the main idea. This is called topic sentence. Now, and this one, B, my colleagues reach at 7 a.m. in the office daily. Now, this sentence is not a topic sentence. Now, let us try to understand why and why not. Why A is a topic sentence and why B is not a topic sentence. A is a topic sentence. As I said, that topic sentence is always main idea and it is general, general. So here you see, when you read it, punctuality is a great and effective way to progress. Now, this idea is a general idea. It is not a specific sentence. It is a general sentence. It contains inside a lot of information which we need to explain in supporting details or supporting sentences. Therefore, this sentence is an effective topic sentence. While, on the other hand, if you look at the B sentence, it says, my colleagues reach at 7 a.m. in the office daily. Now, this sentence is not a general sentence. It is a specific sentence. It is giving an example that what do my colleagues do? How do they follow punctuality? So this is supporting this idea, main idea. Therefore, the sentence A is the best main idea and the B is a specific sentence, it is not a main idea at all, right? All right, so dear viewers, as I was talking about, so this is an example which I was talking about, so we decided to which one is topic sentence. Now, let's proceed to the supporting sentence. Now, as I said, B is not a topic sentence, so it is a supporting sentence. So this is a supporting sentence. We can write more than one uh, supporting sentence in order to support the main idea that is punctuality. So, uh, so all supporting sentences like this and some other supporting sentences will be 
uh, strengthening the idea of the main idea that is the topic sentence so we can write like these sentences uh, seven eight nine ten ten sentences we can write about supporting this idea and details in in the same supporting sentences we can give the details uh, one two three four details as an examples about how people follow the punctuality what do they do and what are the rules they have made for following the punctuality that is the main idea and uh, concluding sentence last one is talking about as i said before that when you have this main idea so this main idea has to be rephrased so we have to in concluding sentence basically reminds us about the main idea so we have to rephrase it in a different way so it will become our concluding sentence so after concluding sentence we don't have to write anything else so for example if we want to write the concluding sentence of this uh, uh, idea that is the topic sentence so what will be the topic uh, means the concluding sentence now do we can rephrase it the rephrase sentence would be like this for example we can say this in a concluding sentence punctuality is a great and effective way to progress so we can say as a concluding sentence that everyone must follow rules of punctuality and regularity to progress in life. Now this sentence is the concluding sentence which is rephrased idea is the same one this idea and this idea is the same one therefore this is concluding so we can say it is a concluding sentence right okay after understanding these points the next uh, important thing is capitalization when you are writing a paragraph you need to understand that the first letter of a sentence should be capital when you put a full stop and after each uh, full stop and different new sentence you are starting, the first letter should be capital. And when the idea is complete, at the end of the sentence, we have to put the full stop, which is also technically called period. So we have to put the full stop at the end of each sentence. And the last point, which is very important to understand regarding paragraph writing, don't use point form in your paragraph writing. Point form means bullet points. When you're writing a paragraph, it should be a wholesome picture. The entire sentences, starting from topic sentence, supporting and concluding sentence, all should be integrated. And it should be one whole sum picture of the paragraph. So we don't have to write bullet points like one, two, three, four, or these bullet points like this. We don't have to write in paragraph. Okay, so after understanding this thing, I need to emphasize on this thing that you try to focus and try to practice uh, through different type of writing um, exercises about how to write topic sentences, how to write supporting sentences, details and concluding sentences. And uh, in this way, if you have any inquiry, if you want to understand more about these, so you can comment in the comment section. So I will make you understand how to identify more uh, different type of exercises about what is topic sentence, how to write in detail and, and uh, supporting sentences and details and concluding sentence, right? So uh, in the next, uh, this is the end of my video and in the next video I will talk about a practical example of writing paragraph following all these important points, right? So continue to watch it, continue to uh, like and share it and subscribe my channel so that you can be uploaded with my latest uploaded videos. So thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself.